you knew it was only a matter of time before Google came out with their own version of ChatGPT. You can't ever leave out Google. We knew they'd have a response and an answer. In fact, they have their own underrated technology. For example, Google Lens. This technology has been out for a while, but unfortunately, a lot of people still don't know that Google Lens even exists. And we know technology moves fast, and we knew it was only a matter of time before Google responded with their own version of ChatGPT. It's called Google Bard. Let's take a look at what's to come. So I'm here on Google Trends, and you can see that Google Bard is already trending. Seventh most common trend of today for Tuesday, February 7th, 2023, in answer to AI chatbot sensation ChatGPT. The services that Google's Bard and ChatGPT would offer are similar. Users will have to key in a question, a request, or give a prompt to receive a human-like response. Microsoft and Google plan to embed AI tools to bolster their search services, Bing and Google Search, which account for a big chunk of revenue. How are they different? Both technologies can distill complex info and multiple perspectives into easy to digest formats but the most apparent difference is Bard's ability to include recent events in the responses okay Bard's ability to include recent events so if Bard has the capability to include recent events in their technology I think that would be a game changer that could put Google Bard over the top because there's been a few times I've asked ChatGPT some information regarding some current or recent events and it really didn't know what to provide me but if Google can do this, sort of like Google Trends can provide real-time Google trending keywords, if Google Bard can do this, I think that's an amazing game changer. All right, Bard's based on Lambda, short for Language Model for Dialogue Applications. Okay, when will Bard be available? Bard is currently only open to a group of testers. So basically, Alphabet CEO said in a blog post that the conversational AI service will be made widely available in the coming weeks. Bard can be an outlet for creativity and a launch pad for curiosity, helping you to explain new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old or learn more about the best strikers in football right now and then get drills to build your skills. They're initially releasing it with their lightweight model version of Lambda, much smaller model, enabling us to scale to more users, allowing for more feedback. That's cool. So they're not releasing the all go gung-ho powered one right away. They're going to release a smaller scale version just to kind of get some feedback. All right, so let's check it out. They have a screenshot of what Google Bar will look like. So it says it up here. Is piano or guitar easier to learn and how much practice does each need? And it's a regular practice for guitar in six to 18 months for piano. How to use the Google Bar AI chatbot. All you have to do to use the Google AI chatbot is open the Google app on your smartphone and tap on the chatbot icon. Like ChatGPT, enter your prompt and hit enter. All right, it's going to be that easy. Get answers. Whether you're looking for a weather report or the latest sports scores, automate tasks. The chatbot is powered by Google AI and can take care of several activities automatically, such as making a restaurant reservation or booking a flight. Google was already finding them for you. With this new chatbot, it is also expected to be able to buy them for you. With this new chatbot, it is also expected to be able to buy them for you. Your personal AI assistant. The Google Bard AI chatbot can assist you in managing your time and ensuring that you never miss an appointment or forget to complete a simple critical step. Social hub. The chatbot can also function as a social hub facilitating user conversations in both group and one-on-one -on -one settings. I love what this says. However, once the Google Bard AI link is shared, it will likely be integrated into Google search and can be assessed by asking questions through the search bar. The chatbot draws information from the web to provide up-to-date answers to text prompts. It's employees as part of a, quote, co-red response to OpenAI's viral chatbot. Here with me at One Market, the reporter who broke that story, Jennifer Elias. Always great to have you on set. And they've actually been able to run through some of their own chat GBT like products. Yeah. What's the takeaway? Um, I know that there was some comparison, obviously skewed towards Google, but what are sort of the early signs saying? Yeah, it's interesting because what we reported yesterday was that they have so many different units working on this. They've redistributed resources and employees and told people, you may not see them on certain engineering meetings anymore, you might see them um, focus on Lambda, which is the um, smart chat uh, language model that Google uses for its chatbots. And we saw that they actually have a few different projects right now across different areas, um, not just in AI, in cloud, in the company's brain sector. Um, and one of them is Apprentice Bard, which is this chat GPT like chatbot they're using internally with employees and they can ask them things like, you know, write me a poem in a Wes Anderson style or, you know, various detailed answers. And it uses current <laughs> events. So that's something I think that they're hoping will work versus 
you know, something like ChatGBT, OpenAI still doesn't have those current events. So. Yeah, the current event, the current event thing is a selling point for me. That's one of the downfalls I realized with ChatGPT. It kind of lacked in that department. Let's see if we can find at least some Google image examples on um, what Google Bard may look like. You can use Bard to plan a friend's baby shower, compare two Oscar-nominated movies, get lunch ideas based on what's in your fridge. Get lunch ideas based on what's in your fridge. I want to do that with ChatGPT. Let me see if we can do the same thing. I'm going to make up a list of ingredients of things I have in the fridge. What can I have for lunch based off these ingredients? All right, let's see. Let's see how creative we can get, ChatGPT. This is what's in my fridge right now. Let's see. With these ingredients, you can make a few different lunch options. Really, a few different. Roast beef and cheese sandwich with mustard and sliced apples. Rice and corn bowl with sliced roast beef and cheese on top. Grilled cheese sandwich with slices of roast beef and a side of corn and apples. Apple and cheese stuffed pita with slices of roast beef and a side of rice. Let's go crazier. Turkey wrap with hummus, cabbage, and honey mustard dressing. Turkey and rice bowl with a side of roasted cabbage and chocolate for dessert. Turkey and chocolate quesadilla with a side of honey lemon glazed roasted cabbage. Honey lemon glazed roasted cabbage. So anyway, what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to the competition between Microsoft, Google, and all the other independent companies that are going to be coming out with their own version of AI chat technology? If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stop.